We are going to build the longest, most attractive and most exciting park in the Netherlands, here, in Leiden. Actually, the idea is not very new. Um, it originated from 1592, when the Council of Leiden, so it's almost 500 years ago, um, had the idea to put trees around its moat. They tried to revive the idea of the public park in the 70s, but it get really, got really serious by 2011, when they wrote a new vision on the single. And that's where we came in, from Stadslab, because we immediately formed a team which consisted of an architect, a landscape architect, and also a city historian, and public open space manager, and Jeroen Matus, who initially uh, founded Stadslab and got the idea of the longest, most exciting, and um, most attractive park in the Netherlands. And the longest, to give you an idea, um, the single is stretching over 6.3 kilometers, so it's a park that's even longer than the Central Park in New York City. We felt that um, we could add, act, add some extra magic because a, creating a park is not just putting up a bunch of trees. This could really be a project to build on citywide pride, self-consciousness and social cohesion. What are we talking about? This is Leiden. There is a single running all around the historic inner city. It's 6.3 kilometers in length and it's the oldest city's fortifications in Europe goes all the way around. And it's connecting almost like a necklace, the oldest university, the Hortus Botanicus gardens, the observatory as well as windmills, old city ports and cemeteries. Um, Leiden actually is one of the most impervious cities in the Netherlands. 60% consists of concrete and brick, so uh, imagine we can need some extra green over here. 53,000 of Leiden's inhabitants live within walking distance of the single. So that's a tremendous public we have over there. And Stadslab calculated that over 30 years, when we would have an ambitious park, um, we would add 200 million value to our city due to property increase, uh, less healthcare claims, tourism, of course, it would raise, and above all, people love parks. And in doing so, we felt we needed um, the grant design. I already mentioned we wouldn't do with putting up a bunch of trees. No, we really needed the big gesture over here. So we set off for an international design competition and we had a jury chaired by our own city major. We had 11, um, sorry, we had 11 guiding principles that we formulated after a brainstorm we organized in January 2012. 200 inhabitants gathered and they had a brainstorm on 19 themes. 500 ideas um, were brainstormed altogether. So we had those guiding principles, 11 in, in total. And why 11? Well, for us, this one was the most important one. We wanted to brief to our architects, our international design team, make us proud as a city, as inhabitants of the city of Leiden. We had six international landscape architects working on our project and we opened in July, June 2011 our single park exhibition. We had the six design teams all exhibited their design in one of the greenhouses in the Museum of Ethnology's garden. Over 9,000 visitors visited this exhibition in two and a half months time. We organized guided tours debating evenings and so on, just to get all of Leiden involved in this plan, because we really feel, feel that this can bind the whole of the city together, literally. The Friends of the, the Single Park, I would say the Friends of the High Line, but it's one of our famous examples. The Friends of Single Park was established in July this year, and our aim is to help to maintain, to, to promote, and also to create and program the longest, most attractive and most exciting park in the Netherlands. So we're not just there for fun, but also to help fundraise. My team, Fundraising, aims to raise 9.3 million euros in the upcoming years, because we believe that if you inspire your local authority to take on such an ambitious project, you should also contribute and be very serious with it. By now, Single Park consists of uh, 50 volunteers in six teams, ranging from programming to fundraising and from promotion 
um, of course, to public affairs, which are very important. We really feel that this is a joint venture between our local government and between ourselves. We both know where we want to be heading because we have a shared dream. But we also invent the road while we're riding on it. So yes, the road sometimes gets bumpy and we're fighting over who gets the wheel and who is planning out the map on the way. But we'll get there because we share this dream. And the thing I want to give to you, if you decide to put on that extra magic in your own city, remember that there's one thing, there's one longest, most attractive and most exciting park, and that is here in Leiden. Thank you. <laughs>